the, the question was like, uh, because lactose intolerance is very much prevalent in uh, most of the Western countries, and probably due to the cold climate there uh, and you know cold weather conditions, largely Anupadesha, because it is multiple uh, times processed with milk to prepare Shirbala Thaila, should we totally avoid it? Or can we make it a combination with uh, some other, uh, say, pungent rich medicines like uh, Haridra Khanda or Jirakarista, etc.? So, how to uh, deal with this uh, lactose intolerance we issue, sir? I don't think so. This uh, Kshirabala 101, if it is taken in, in, in patients with lactose intolerance, uh, there may be some issues. As such, we didn't find any such problem because Dugda or the milk we are using it, it will not be in the same fashion with at the end product. It is one of the ingredients in the preparation. Multiple times we may use it, but I don't think so that the entire portion of the uh, dugda, the milk as it is in its components, will enter into the oil. So it's only in a colloidal format and it will be in, uh, not as a dugda cause. I think so this will not going to cause any problem to lactose intolerance patients. Uh, we can reduce it the number of, I mean, um, quantum of the medicines which we give to them in the beginning. If it is any suspicion is there regarding the in, uh, lactose intolerance and the patient may complain of that. So in that case, we can go with the Haridra Kanda or even Trikatu Churna can be added to that. Even Jirikadhyarista can be added to that to improve the conditions. And uh, coming to its uh, utility in paralytic patients, in which conditions associated with paralysis and also in which stage of paralysis should we uh, go with Shirabala Thaila, oral intake and should, in which conditions we better we avoid it and go for other medicines, sir? See, first of all, we need to understand what is paralysis. Pakshaghata or paralysis is one of the major manifestations and we do come across a lot of patients with that and it is not a simple disease. It may be a, a presenting complaint, maybe a slightly tingling sensation or unable to lift the hand in the early stages and that's what called Navotha, we said. It is a new manifestation or early manifestation. In such early manifestation, using Kshirabala 101, we can uh, clear the condition in a short curation of time. That is possible. But nowadays, what we are getting in Pakshagata in the practice, most of them are due to the, uh, they were not knowing that they had a hypertension or they were not knowing that, uh, knowingly they are leaving the hypertensive, anti-hypertensive medicines. So thereby, complications of hypertension leading to Pakshagata, this is called cerebrovascular accidents. So this is the what we are come across nowadays in a large number. And in these conditions, I don't think so in the basic of 48 hours or 96 hours, until unless the patient is stabilized, we don't, we can't go for giving any of these uh, medications, uh, particularly uh, Kshirabala 101. Only what we can do is Kshirabala 101, we can use it in the form of Nasya in these patients and with the irritating, causing irritation so that maybe uh, we can regain his conscious and all those conditions. So, but, um, uh, but before understanding the uh, total paralysis or the Pakshagata in uh, total, it is better, should we should know that. We can't claim that we can cure Pakshagata by using only Kshirabala 101. It is not uh, possible in such uh, sense. Kshirabala 101, even though primary drug, many times we need to combine these drugs to many other combinations to reduce the um, results. Maybe with uh, certain even herbomineral drugs, we may have to uh, use it. So that, that is not a simple uh, one condition. We can use it very easily and cure it. It, if it is in very early onset and the patient has reached the our OPD within the first 24 hours or something like that, uh, 48 hours, then it will be easier for the bring the result with the medication. Of course, not in the um, uh, where the quantumness of the disease is much higher, where there is a severe internal bleeding or, uh, and the um, patient is in a in deliberate conditions. So you cannot uh, use in those areas any other medications until unless patient is stabilized. So first patient stabilization is very important. If any bleeding is there that has to be stopped, then recovery phase will start. So in those conditions, if it is a mild to moderate forms, paralysis or maybe parasthesia in those conditions, Kshirabala in the 101. But uh, simply Kshirabala 101 for every patient of uh, Pakshagata may not be an ideal one. We need to assess the condition as well as we need to assess the level of damage and depth or involvement of the doshas and even the 
depth of the disease. So once it is understood, then only we can go for the bringing the protocol for the treatment. In case of say hemiplegia or paraplegia, uh, after the initial set of treatments are over, when the pa patient is uh, is there in a rehabilitation phase, uh, then the tonic to improve the general health and immunity and also the strength of the nerves and joints and the whole body tissues can it be used as a medicine for a rehabilitation for longer periods of time yes definitely it can be used for a longer period of time but not in the initial days of uh, treatment once the stabilize then you can use it for the rehabilitation or tissue damages or even nerve damages whatever it is there to overcome that part of it because if a patient approaches a doctor within a short span of time then the tissue damage will be comparatively lesser many times we find patients reaching to us after five months or six months or somebody has told and that's when we are coming to here and something like that so such type of patient we get it then the, those time of uh, type of patients it, it takes much time to get healed because they already come late to us as early as possible if they reach to the proper ayurvedic uh, treatment centers Definitely, once the patient is stabilized, then we can go for the rehabilitation purposes. Then we can, in, the, in that, those areas, Shirabala 101 is one of the wonder drug or the right choice. Definitely, we can use it in as a Pichu, as well as Nasya, as even for the Shirobhyanga, this can be used.